All right, let's try this, y'all. Uh, here we are. I'm on Twitch <laughs> for the first time in a whole heck of a long time. And here we are. We're going to be doing a little playthrough of Pokemon Fire Red. Let's see how this goes. As much as I want to get straight to the game, you got to enjoy the cinematic while you can. Uh, for those that are seeing this, after the live stream, I uh, hope you join us as well. You'll find us on YouTube, wherever I decide to post it, frankly. And we'll go from there. So we're going to go ahead and click start. <laughs> My boy, Samuel Oak! Hello, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. Okay, Sam. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets, others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me, are you a boy or a girl? Frankly, we need more girls in the world. Not voice. So I'll be a girl this time. I'll be green. I'll be green. For me, this all goes back to... This all goes back to actually Pokemon Crystal for me, in that I really, really, really um, <laughs> well, it's nice, I got more followers here, thank you, appreciate it. Um, I'm getting my, I'm just so used to Twitch, I'm doing this. Grandson, he's your rival since you were both babies, mm, what's his name now? His name is not Green. As much as I want to call him Gary, he's not Gary. We know his name. His name is Blue. Uh, I'm a huge, huge fan of the Pokemon manga series, Pokemon Adventures. So I am going to stay very true to that and go with those names. Uh, with Green and for our female character and Blue for our male character. Uh, but what I was saying before is I have been utterly in love with this Pokemon franchise since I was a small child. And when Pokemon Crystal first came out, one of the new things that was so mind-blowingly cool, even to a boy like me, was the fact that you could play as a girl. And I think it's kind of absurd to think that even in the early 2000s <laughs> that it was mind-blowing that... That was amazing, that you could play as a girl. Now it's absurd to even think. It's a post-it notice. If you're confused, ask for help. Press the L or R button. But to be honest, I don't know what the L or R button is on my keyboard, so let's roll. Let's talk to mom. Mom, right? All girls dream of traveling. It said so on TV. Oh yes, Professor Oak next door was looking for you. I'm probably not going to read all this text, but it's kind of fun just to play and... Have some fun. We'll go from there. Alrighty. We all know the drill by now. Alright, Green, we venture into the world as we always can. And of course, our boy Sam wants to help us out. Just as helpful as Samwise Gamgee, frankly. Unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grasses. Obviously. I love how I, I just adore, honestly, I really do. I adore the ideology of Pokemon that everything is just so kind and hopeful. It's one thing I just, I cannot get over about this. Grant, fed up of waiting. Okay, Blue, be cool, bro. What sucks is the game makes Blue kind of like a snot. You like him because it's somewhat funny as a kid, but you also hate him. 
And like Gary really hit, I think honestly Gary hits. Gary really hits the blue personification best in terms of like a media presentation of it. However, like to really capture how good that character is, I think you really, really have to read the Pokemon manga and the Pokemon Adventure series. Blue is a complete badass <laughs> in that series. You get why he's awesome and why Red needs to chase him. Um, and why Red needs to up his game to be at that level. Uh, so that series is just so special. Now, I would normally go for honoring the manga. However, I can't because I have to stay true to my heart. And yes, I want to go with the grass Pokemon Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is my boy! It is so funny. As a child, I've explained this in the videos before. As a child, I was all Charmander. As a Older child, I am not one to give nicknames, frankly. Um, I know a lot of people are. I am not. I'll probably give nicknames eventually when I keep playing through the game, but probably not tonight. Um, not going to give a nickname to Bulbasaur because Bulbasaur's my boy. Uh, but I was all Charmander as a young kid. And then as I got into being an adolescent and a teen, I was more Squirtle. In my late teens, early 20s, I really transitioned to being a Bulbasaur fan, and as an adult, I'm full-on Bulbasaur. Oh, sure. You want me to wait? I'll take you on. First Pokemon battle, let's go! Turn up the volume just a hair. Rival Blue would like to battle. I've really, actually, it's going to shock some people, never played Fire Red before in my life outside of five to ten minutes, uh, getting the kids set up at work. Uh, I put it on the computers at work so they could get the joy of playing the original Pokemon games or as close to an approximation that I could give them. Uh, I love Oak just being just like, are you kidding me right now? We're going to have a battle in my lab. Um... But I've actually never played Fire Red or Leaf Green. I was straight up red, blue, played a good chunk of yellow, but Crystal was my jam. I've played so much Crystal version, it's absurd. Um, and a lot of gold and silver. Gold and Gen 2 is my absolute favorite. Let's go uh, talking about let's learn from our experiences. Try battling. See for yourself. So we're gonna fight. Uh, I am also the same kid that still does this. Status moves are stupid. <laughs> I don't believe in status moves. I really don't. Um, unless it's like a really, really good thing. Um, I'm going to try to force myself on this playthrough to to use status moves occasionally. But... Oops. But... First one, frankly, uh... I'm not going to lie to you. I, w I did try before this about a month ago recording a uh, yo, blue beef. Cool, bro. This game's rigged. Second time I've ever lost the first fight. In a Pokemon game, that's awesome. Strengthen your Pokemon, of course. Of course, I need to strengthen my Pokemon. I just lost the first battle. Who knows, who loses the first battle? I guess that's probably why they are trying to teach dumb kids like me to use status moves. Game's rigged. Alright, Bulbasaur's cool. We good to go. Making a battle. Love this. Alright, let's roll, baby. Out into the world we go. Green and Bulbasaur ride off together into the sunset. 
and in to the tall grasses. Oh god. I'm checking the map like I the map I made for myself. Um, for context on that, it, I have actually made it's only got through Viridian City, um, unfortunately. Hey, you got a potion, what's up? Appreciate that, broski. Um, I actually made a Pokemon... I, I guess the best it would be board game, but it's kind of got a few elements of a tabletop game. Um, I'm not a huge tabletop player. Let's use Growl just for funsies. Um, Pidgey! And... Uh, and so, actually the reason I went right even though I know there's no item in the actual game was because um, to really make sure that you could get off to a start and get really going right away, I made, uh, in the tabletop game I made for the kids I, I have at work, I did it so that you could... Dude, are you kidding me Bulbasaur? How are we going to lose this fight? Bulbasaur. Bro! <sighs> ah, good job, buddy. Now we gotta use our potion immediately. Eh. Or I could just save it. <laughs> We're gonna cheat. Screw it. Oh, thank God. Yo, Mom, help us! <laughs> Mom, my Pokemon almost got, got destroyed in the second battle because it lost its first battle. Thanks, Mom. I'm poor. No, Mom, I'm just looking out for us. I know we're poor. Yeah, I forgot. We're going to talk to that other peep. Let's see if there's still a town map or something. Oh, yeah, Daisy, what's up? This is the town map. Oh boy. But alas, here we go. Let's go get some more XP. What I was saying is I actually made a Pokemon tabletop game and I I littered this entire area with a couple items. Um, I made and I evolved Pallet Town a little bit more so there was a little bit more to it. Right. I have never been a Rattata fan. Bulbasaur. Let's end this quick. Or not. Come on, buddy! Come on! Good win, good win, good win. Destroy Rattata. Still cruising at level 5. I'm gonna quick do something just to help myself out. Because frankly, I did not change the title of my stream. So I'm going to do that. Just so everyone knows. Hey, we're playing Pokemon and I'm not ranking Pokemon today. Although, the one person who's watching this, thanks. Appreciate it. Not that it really matters. Here we go. Alright, we're rolling through. But I was saying, I've actually made a tabletop game of this entire area. And I livened it up so you could get a little bit further. Um... And feel like you accomplished more, but also beefed it up. So, for instance, I gave about four or five items to this area. Uh, you know, this, this basic Route 1. Um, and I also... I also uh, made, like, it was possible by your dice roll that you could probably find up to... Like, somewhere like 10 to 12 uh, different Pokemon. 
uh, along this route, which is, um, you know, obviously way more fun if you can... Because the one thing I will say is I really enjoy the... I really enjoy the concept of Pokemon. You you learn by playing. Yeah, like I just remember being tossed this game right away and just being like, "Oh yeah, of course." Like level six, let's go, Bobby. Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur. And yes, I am this player. I am going to heal right up, and I am going to buy more potions so I don't get wrecked. Thank you, Nurse Joy. That is appreciated. Let's go straight to the mart. Pick up this parcel so I can go catch the friend. Yes, I did come from Palatown. What gave me away? Was it the fact that I'm a 10-year-old with a Pokemon? Of course. <laughs> Oak's parcel. I'd love to know what was in this parcel. Have we ever figured that out? Is there any Pokemon lore that actually gives us the answer to that question? I'd love to know. Do we actually have that? I think that... Now that I think of it, that's a legitimate question I've never thought of. What was in Oak's parcel? Frankly, I'm just saving up HP for later. Got no problem admitting that. All right, Professor Oak, let's hit you up with this parcel. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely. Oh god, I wish you could win that Squirtle. Oh, custom Pokeball. Apparently, I never paid attention. Gotta get that Pokedex. Gotta get that Pokedex. Not gonna lie, I'm also going to eat chocolate as I do this. My apologies to anyone watching. All one of you. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Hi, Tech Encyclopedia! I got my Pokedex. Cause I am just awesome. Five Pokeballs? No wonder this game is so superior. You get five Pokeballs right off the bat? That's dope. No, yeah. and I won't have to talk to that creepy old man that's in Viridian City. That's rad. I love that he's just cranky and old. He's awesome. Okay, Blue. Let's calm down here, bro. Light foreshadowing there. Hey, Daisy, what's up? Thanks, Daisy. Appreciate it. Love getting this town map. Do I need this town map? Not really, because I've memorized this map a thousand times as a child. But here we are. And here we go. Now we're going to run through the grass and we're going to catch new friends. Except for Rattata. Uh, I'm gonna catch Rattata. I don't wanna. Or not. Sorry, Rattata. Oh, 
Bye, Ratatouille. Sorry you fainted. All right, let's see if we catch this Ratatouille. Tail whip. Oh, God. Tail whip. Our defense is falling. Alright, Bulby, let's do this, buddy. We go to our bag and we use our magical Pokeball. Yes! We got a new friend, even though it's a Rattata and it hurts my feelings. The Grassland Pokemon, the Mouse Pokemon. Its fangs are long and very sharp. They grow continuously, so it gnaws on hard things to whittle them down. I love that description. I really, really do. Oh, apparently I have a package from some crazy person. Nice. Love that. 7.7 7 pounds. That's really tiny. Yes, I'm going to give Rattata a name. His name will be Clive. And it's going to drive me insane every time I see it in my box. But Clive, welcome to the team, buddy. Is there XP share in this? I'm not sure. See those glitches around? Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. No! Click. Clive, your brethren have come to attack us. Why? Why have you done this? Clive, tell them to go away. Tell them to go away, Clive. Shredded tail whip. However, I just thought of a wonderful idea for a, a really stupid story of Pokemon. Someone's the rat kid. So, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hate the fact that. I can't call them out by name. I might literally look it up on Discord quick. But I'm currently on a Discord server. I have a follower from YouTube who's on my Discord server. And he's actually kind of lent some help to another... Uh, I'm going to look it up right now for you guys because it's going to drive me insane. I want to be able to call it out. So, if you go on Discord, Pokemon Perryverse... Uh, you gotta get the invite, obviously, but um, what they do, essentially, is um, in their game, they're building, a, they've built a Pokemon uh, ROM, they base the entire thing off the Marvel and DC universe, which is obviously super, super cool. Um, you know, before I really got into... Pokemon at this deep of a level um, by far my my greatest love was comic books and specifically Batman um, so it was very interesting when I when I got to talk to him a little bit but um, you know one of my followers was working on this ROM hack and so it just gave me this thought as I love the idea of someone going with the like Z list Batman villain rat catcher and they just run around with Rattata and Raticate at all times. And that's all they do. Their entire Pokemon journey, they just get rat Pokemon. And I guess theoretically you could say they could use, you know, the Pikachu line and maybe some other stuff. Pokeballs, let's stock up, my friends. We're not playing a Nuzlocke, so I don't need to try to do anything crazy. I would like 10 of those. Thank you. No Premier Ball? Okay, I see how this is, bro. I see how this is, bro. Let's get two more potions, just for the funsies. I would like two more potions, thank you. And we're gonna, we're gonna bank our money from here. 
See ya. Please come again. I will come again. I'm sure I will. But what I was saying is uh, the follower on off YouTube, and, he's, and they're part of my Discord server, which if you're not, if you'd be interested in joining that, the invite is straight in my YouTube um, invites. And, you know, if you can message me through this, I can find a way to get it to you. Um, if you'd like to join, that goes through all of my custom Pokemon region and everything like that. But this person, as I said, was working on a DC Marvel one um, called the Pokemon Periverse, which is super, super cool. And uh, I just thought, I literally just had the thought with uh, our boy Clive, the Ratata Clive, that it'd be really interesting to see a rat catcher try to run through this at all times like this. Oh, old man. He's going to give us a word of advice now. Automatically updates the data. No way, bro. It's crazy. And of course, he's gonna show me again. Hey, thanks, creepy old man. It feels needed to talk to children. Not a big deal at all. I'm gonna take this opportunity as I watch to also eat chocolate. Good for you, old man. Good for you. I don't know what that is. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm breaking every rule. But, that's what you do when you're attempting to. Nope, leave me alone. Get this totally mystery item that I definitely don't know what it is already. Definitely didn't know it was a potion. Yeah, I've never talked to her. Let's talk to her. She goes shopping in Peter City occasionally. Take the winding trail in Viridian Forest. So scary, Viridian Forest. But we're rolling into Viridian Forest. We're on the road to Viridian City. Even though we're definitely already there. Caterpie! Ooh, level five. Let's go, boy. That is a definite help. Thank you. Caterpie be cool. Caterpie be cool. Caterpie be cool. Love Caterpie. Love Butterfree. Love that entire line. We're going to do one more just in case. Don't be a critical hit. Don't be a critical hit. Thank you. Fourteen Pokeballs. One of them will work for this Caterpie. Let's go! Welcome to the team, Caterpie. From the forest. Caterpie, the worm Pokemon, is covered with a green skin. When it grows, it sheds the skin, covers itself with silk, and becomes a cocoon. It's a foot tall, bro. 6.4 pounds. That's crazy. Caterpie, what do we want to name you? I'll name you for funsies on this one. I don't know why. But you shall be most deaf. Most deaf the Caterpie. Let's roll. Gonna roll around the grass for a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Clive! Keep him away from us! Clive, you're supposed to help us. 
gonna leech seed you. Seeded, gross. Defense fell. Excellent job there, Bulbasaur. We're gonna tackle this broski. That's what I'm talking about. No. Be cool. Thank you. And you know what? We're gonna do it one more time for good measure. Don't want a critical hit. I have a strategy here, my friends. Oh wait, crap, that didn't work. <laughs> that really wasn't the strategy. <laughs> that really wasn't the strategy. I was gonna try to get Clive a couple XP points, man. I'm gonna put the tech speed up. Battle style. Let's do shift, whatever. Dude, look at the screen. I really need an XP share though. Otherwise our boy Clive ain't gonna do anything. But before we do that, let's go get some more XP. Clive! Switch to the front of the line, my friend. Clive, let's do some battling, my boy. There's never a Rattata fan until... Honestly, I still am not crazy about Rattata. Pitchy! Alright, we finally got a chance at a girl Pokemon. Alright, Clive. Let's do this. Don't let it tackle you like that. Clive, be cool. I shouldn't say a girl Pokemon. A female Pokemon. Let's go to our bag. Let's do this. No! Pidgey! Why did you have to clap? Yes, I'm going to use my next Pokemon. Most deaf! Let's do this! No risk it. No biscuit. Come on, Most deaf. Do it for the team! Do it for the team! Really, that just means that Clive can't do this. Clive, why you do this to us, man? Thank you, Dermu. Thank you. Appreciate it. Forest Pokemon. Pidgey, tiny Pokemon. Foot tall. A lot of things are foot tall in this region. Four pounds. Does not like to fight. It hides in tall grass and so on. Foraging for food such as small bugs. Well, frankly, doesn't like to fight. Why don't you just take Clive off the map? That ain't cool. Pidgey, we, we're gonna get you a name. I love that sprite though. That's a really cool looking sprite of Pidgey. I don't know if I've ever seen that one. Alright. I don't know why it's giving me these vibes, but Pidgey, your name is B now. Actually, you know what? Let's not do both. Let's not shorten. Let's have some real fun. Ooh. If I could use my typing skills that I don't have, that'd be great. Beatrix! Let's roll the Pidgey Beatrix. Oh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that, Dermu. Thank you for the follow, brother. Or sister, or whatever you want to be called. Because I want to be friendly to everybody. All right, let's go heal up our team. We're four strong with a Bulbasaur that's pretty much gotten destroyed almost every time I've rolled it out. Clive the Rattata, which has just been shown to, frankly, be, you know, Clive. Mos definitely hasn't a chance, but got us through to Beatrix the Pidgey, so 
Let's do that. And then we'll finally get a little bit of a type advantage, which will be great. Gonna need that. No, no, I don't. Don't need to be healed twice in a row. I'm always quick on the draw. I did the same thing as a child constantly. All right, let's roll. All right, who do? Who's our first one? Yo, Chris! I do not recognize you through that, but thank you, my friend. I appreciate you being here. <laughs> I've been patiently awaiting this stream. Thank you. I, I'm glad you patiently waited. I will have much more for you in the near future. I literally was just like, ah, I don't read that. I wasn't in a drawing mood tonight, so I was like, here we go. <gasps> well, thank you, my dear. Thank you so much. You, you two are great. Honestly, I am... One of the highlights of my last 12 calendar months has been meeting the two of you. Really, it has, because you guys are just awesome people that are super kind. Congrats on... Congrats on the engagement, by the way. That's so dope. And in celebration of your engagement, we're going to see if our boy Clive here can actually win a Pokemon battle. I doubt it, because it's Rattata, and Rattata are... <laughs> Rattata. But our boy Clive here is going to come through for you. I promise. Clive, you have to take out your brethren. No. Do it, Clive. Yeah, that's right, Clive. Give him that speed. Come on, Clive. Come on, Clive. <laughs> ah. I will say, I, I've actually told this to uh, friends, I'm, you know, for anyone watching, <laughs> thank you, I'm, I'm very happy that you guys are excited to see what I have coming. For those that are watching this VOD or through, you know, YouTube or anything else that you might find us through, um, good friends just came into the chat, which is why it's gotten just a hair, a hair personal in the fraction, but you guys should definitely go check, check out Ace Trainer. Um, for those that are going to watch this in the future, or those who join the chat or join the stream uh, in the near future, should definitely go check out Ace Trainer. Give her a follow because she is absolutely a phenomenal streamer. Uh, but 